Well, hello, friends. I'm Pearl Oism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, Be Pal Picks. Thank you all for that have come over to my Patreon for, and subscribed. Uh, again, if you get in there, get the $25 package, you'll get a free month, and uh, we're smoking pretty good. Playoffs oh, up a little bit, but regular season, 52 units. Awesome. Also, hitting tennis picks really well. Uh, baseball picks, everything. We're, our main focus is hockey, but we got picks for everything. Like tennis, tennis. If you just want to make money till hockey season's up, just do all my tennis picks. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give you picks for the 22nd. Tomorrow, Saturday. Long weekend, yo. Yeah, buddy. Hope you're enjoying. going to be enjoying your long weekend. Tell me in the comment section what you're doing this Fine, long weekend, my friends. Okay, we're going to look at our picks from tonight, today, the 21st. Why doesn't it show me? Yeah, 21st. I think I, every day I got to look at my phone, see what day it is. I forget. I, my memory is really, really good. It's just not very long. Yeah. If it was longer, it would be perfect. Okay, so thank you. Oh, subscribing. Thank you for subscribing, hitting the bell. I send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. There's joy in the land. Everybody does the Pearlo dance. Yeah, buddy, doing the Pearlo. You know what I haven't did in a long time? I'm going to give you picks right away. Settle up. Settle, settle. It's in the back there. I'll be doing it right away. Wait, I've given out pearls for a while. And I got some burgundy pearls here for you after Ron Burgundy. Here he is. This is burgundy pearls. This is for the weekend, okay? It's like red, red wine. It's going to soothe your soul. There you go. Pearls all up in the land right there. If you don't know what those are, Comment in the comment section. I'll tell you all about it. Okay, let's get to our picks. Picks, 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 picks. Singing. I'm singing now. Here we go. Florida versus Tampa Bay. Florida gutted one out. I, I got to know who the goaltenders are here. Really, really important detail. Who are there? What are you? Come on, Florida. Go with Spencer Knight, man. That would be the funnest. That would be the funnest thing in the land if you were to go with Spencer Knight. They're not going to show it. You know it. You know they're not going to show it. Come on. Holy crap. It's taking so long. Where? Why is it going so slow? Anyways, here we go. Uh, for Bobrovsky, are you freaking kidding me? If they go back to Bobrovsky, I'd take it in Tampa Bay. No way. I want them to go with Spencer Knight. Go with Spencer Knight. I know you're watching out there, Mr. Cooper. No, Cooper. What am I talking about? Not Cooper. Q, Quinville. I know you're watching, because why wouldn't you be, right? Why wouldn't you be watching this? You've got to be one of the hundred or so people that watch this, I imagine. Um, Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight. If it's Spencer Knight, which I don't think it will be, I'm going to go Florida. If it's Bob Roski, I'm going Tampa Bay. Money line. You're getting 174. Um, honestly, I'm really not a big fan of this play at all. Because Florida can win. Can win with even Bobrovsky and that they can win. Uh, Vasilevsky didn't have a great game last. Vasilevsky's been here nor there in the playoffs for some reason. But I imagine he'll come back hard in this one. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. And 
total. I mean, if Bob Broski's in, we're going over, 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 over. I actually can tell I'm not a big fan of Bob Broski. Probably tell that. Uh, did I miss the freaking Colorado game? I did. Okay, we'll find out that when I do the thing. Anyways, Pittsburgh versus Islanders. I got to go Pittsburgh. Uh, the Islanders just don't seem to have it. Now, this will be the time. Seems this year, I, I'm, you know, a team really doesn't look good. And uh, they, uh, the next game, they look fantastic. They just bust it out. But I think Pittsburgh is going to take this game though i just their energy is way better the islanders just can't seem to get anything going playing like they normally do where they own the neutral zone and all that kind of stuff like that i, I think pittsburgh is going to win um and i'm going to go the over uh sorokin probably will be in that especially if they go back to varlamov i think varlamov is still hurt that's the problem um, I don't see any reason why they can't roll with Sorokin. Sorokin's a pretty mature young goaltender. He's mature for his age and mature by his age. He's 24. He's played against men in the KHL. He's played in the playoffs before. He's going to be very, very good. I think I'd go with Sorokin. I may even lean Montreal if they decide to put – or lean the Islanders if they put Sorokin in. But the way Pittsburgh is rolling right now, uh, are you getting oh, 220 on the over? Wow. Nice one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go Pittsburgh and the over. Toronto versus Montreal. Man, Montreal scares me right now. you got to figure Toronto's going to re rebound here. But I don't like their bottom pairings and i've said it all along i i'm not a fan of it price if price keeps on playing like this i could see montreal actually winning the series uh i think what you got to do here is go spread let's take montreal puck line and we're going to go the under montreal puck line and the under uh price is playing too good he'll stop enough for toronto montreal is playing a heavy game uh, playing a trap type system against Toronto that's making it very difficult for them. And uh, yeah, we're going to go under five and a half. So Montreal PL under five and a half. Vegas versus Minnesota. I saw the Vegas that I was waiting for. I saw the Vegas I was waiting for in. Uh, the last game. I don't think we're not going to see that Vegas again. I think we're going to see it again. Uh, anticipating extremely well. Uh, Minnesota's biggest strength is the way they can uh, possess the puck in the, in, in the offensive zone. And Vegas was anticipating perfect. Now, Evison is a fantastic coach in Minnesota. Might make some adjustments to throw them off, but I'm still going Vegas. I'm probably going Vegas the rest of the way here against Minnesota. Uh, and you got to keep on going. Um, is it money line? Yeah, Vegas is getting 188. Absolutely. Yeah, take Vegas. Uh, it's on the road, though. I guess that's why. Total under five and a half. Under five and a half with these two goaltenders in. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's my 442 for the picks. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move over to what we did, how we did last night or tonight, whichever way you're, if you're watching it right now, how we did on the 21st. That was the 22nd picks. Now we're going to go look at how we did the 21st. Reload. Come back here. Come back to me. Come back to me. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I messed this one up. I had the caps, but I had the under. But I had the caps for two pearls and the under for one. So uh, if 
I lost about a pearl and a quarter on that. Uh, again, here too, we I had the over, but I had the hurricanes lost about a pearl and a quarter. So we're down two and a quarter. Uh, had Jets PL and the Oilers, or sorry, and the under on this one, but it was it was only for a unit. So what were we down? Two and a quarter. We're down one unit. Then we had a big one. Avalanche in regulation for large and the over for a unit. So we're up. That we're up. Uh, that was about almost double for three pearls. So we made just under three pearls and one. So that we're up a pearl and a half. Not too bad for the day. Did pretty well. Okay, guys, um, I just did a trade. I'm doing, I did a trade equal to everybody videos. Go check it out. If you want to check it out, I'm trading equal to every team in the league. Having fun just seeing what it would cost each team, how we would look on their roster, if they would consider it or not, all that kind of stuff like that. It's fun. And there's a lot of, like, getting a lot of comments in the comment section. Talking about that, comment here. Tell me what you're picking. Tell me everything there. I always like to talk to you guys. I'm gonna bring up. I, I'm gonna bring up a couple more. Should have did that this time. Actually, next time you comment, I'll put it up on here. We'll talk about your comment. Give me something special. Make it good. Make it good. That's my full 42% plays. Friends can't say boys and girls could be it. Uh, I am uh, shadow banned. So if you search me, you won't find me. Like if you search go NHL picks on YouTube, you won't find it because I'm shadow banned. And I think it's because I used the term in the beginning, hello, boys and girls, where I'm acting like I'm teaching children. That's kind of what, it's tongue in cheek. It's not true. But anyways, it was a joke. And uh, I've had three people ask me if I was a pedophile. Which I found pretty funny. If I was a pedophile, you think I'm going to go, oh yeah, of course I'm a pedophile. What the frick are you talking about? Jeez. Anyways, anybody that would actually think and not be able to put it in their heads that I'm not actually talking to children when I say that is probably going to ask a question like that. And if you were one of those people, I am saying you're very unintelligent. I am saying that. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, bye.